Hey, this is Dan Lamb Pro. Today, we're going to be showing you how to use a virtual camera in Telestream Wirecast. It's a pretty simple process. So say you want to use your camera in StreamYard, but you want to get it from Wirecast. This is how it's done. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Wirecast. Now, when you're in Wirecast and you wanna use your virtual camera, so right now I'm using a camera as a playlist. It doesn't matter what the camera is. So whatever camera I'm using, anything in this live, this is my preview window, and this is my live window. So we all know that once I set up my preview shot, then I'm gonna go live right here. But when you're using a virtual camera, instead of you outputting to say a live stream or something to that effect, your live stream is actually StreamYard. So if I was in StreamYard, this is what you would see. This is our StreamYard. <coughs> so if I was in StreamYard, this is what you would see. And as you see, I got a virtual camera coming in. So let's put that up on the screen. So I'm actually outputting to StreamYard but I'm using a virtual camera in Wirecast. So if you look in Wirecast, right here at the top where it says output, instead of me going to my normal output settings where I would find, you see it's giving me a signal where I would find all my settings if I want to go YouTube or et cetera, we're not gonna use that even if I want to record. What we go on is output. You drop right down here where it says virtual camera, out, and you would hit start. And since I'm already using it, I already hit start. But if I hit stop, you will no longer see it in Wirecast. But once you hit virtual camera out, you hit start. Now, if you go back to StreamYard, you see my camera is coming in. And the way I set that up in StreamYard is if you go to the settings or the settings that you see when you first come online, Let's go to settings and you see your camera right here. Notice it has a list of cameras, my Blackmagic, my FaceTime camera, if I want to bring NDI in. But you see right here it says uh, Wirecast virtual camera. That's the camera that I'm telling StreamYard to use for this presentation. So now I can actually go live or record in this case if I want to record or go live. So once I go live, this is the camera that will be used. And you could do the same things with microphones, but what I like to do is just use the mic that I would normally use. In this case, I'm using a Blackmagic Wireless. So if you look in the settings, that's the audio that you will probably see, see Blackmagic, that's my mic. So make sure in Wirecast, you got your mic off and you wanna use this mic directly to StreamYard for your sound. All we want is the virtual camera. Hey, that's pretty much it. So there you have it. That's how you use your virtual camera in from Wirecast to StreamYard. It could be the same thing from Wirecast to OBS, if you want to do a Zoom meeting or anything, or if you want to go vice versa, like OBS or any platform that has a virtual camera that you can output, that's the process that you would use it. I like to use a virtual camera in Wirecast because of the good codecs that they have. So some programs don't have good camera action. Wirecast give me my best settings most of the time. That's pretty much it. Till next time. Make sure you go to YouTube.com, Webmaster Dan, Dan Land Pro, or Steppers Express. Peace.